गुड इवनिंग चाचा प्रसाद माय क्वेश्चन इज व्हेन वी आर लिटिल वी ऑल ड्रीम अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स व्हेन वी ग्रो अप वी डू दिस वी डू दैट बट दैट टाइम वी डोंट हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट यू नो हाउ अडल्ट लाइफ विल बी लाइक एज किड्स वी डू नॉट नो द डिफरेंट डायरेक्शंस वी विल बी पुल्ड इन द डिफरेंट रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज दैट विल कम अपॉन अस सो वंस वी स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग हाउ डू वी प्रोटेक्ट दोस ड्रीम्स दैट एट वंस गिव अस a sense of purpose or a sense of pleasure but as we grow up different things pull our attention because of which we are not able to focus on them so how do we protect our dreams as we grow up the child state is defined by those dreams hmm being a child is being dreamy about childish things hmm? if you want to protect the dreams of childhood then you are protecting the state of childhood itself to grow is to grow into higher dreams elsewhere is growth if you still keep desiring the same things that you did when you were 3 or 8 or 13 where is growth you see the child has a very underdeveloped consciousness the child is very deeply conditioned by his body his genetic constitution and additionally the child is absorbing the influences from family school television uh, peers all those things so that's where the dreams of the child are coming from right the child saw that uh, the the kid in the neighborhood has a pilot as his father and this neighborhood kid comes and brags you know what my father flies a jumbo jet all you have is a little toy my father flies an actual plane and the kid says i want to be a pilot when i grow up is that not how all childhood dreams germinate hmm? is there uh, thought involved is there consideration discretion involved is there contemplation involved is there any depth in those desires uh sir sometimes experiences might trigger those things like if you experience a certain emotion while practicing some action like and you like for example while playing music no no you said you said if you experience a certain emotion like emotion like pleasure emotion like happiness okay emotion like fulfillment okay obviously from a child's perspective fulfillment from a child's perspective a right. child knows uh, fulfillment only up to his uh, brain capacity or up to his right. development right so that way it, when something like that is involved like i get your like the example you gave that is completely true like if somebody has a dream because of that then obviously it is not something that needs to be protected right. but for example when we are children we have more time to ourselves and we play music or we do this or do that and at some point it gave us pleasure but once we grow up we are pulled into all these different directions and we lose connect with those things that gave us pleasure or that gave us happiness so you know we uh, might feel a little bit disillusioned or a little bit disconnected from those things so yeah. like i think they are worth preserving because at some point they gave us pleasure or they gave us happiness yeah. but the happiness they 
gave was to a different person altogether that person is no more that person disappeared 20 years back that person is no more so a kid looks for happiness an infant looks for pleasure a grown up must look for joy right and because you are no more the 3 or 13 year old therefore the things that pleased those people hmm, the little people are not going to be of much use to you in fact there is a danger if you stick to the same subjects that were once pleasurable to you then you will be blocking your inner growth please understand what you find pleasing is a direct reflection of how grown up you are how deep your consciousness is that's the reason why a man of deep consciousness takes uh, pleasure and here I'm using pleasure as a synonym of joy which it actually is not but just for this uh, conversation so that man a developed man finds pleasure in in something entirely different from what a, a shallow man derives pleasure from hmm? so be very very mindful of what pleases you what pleases you will become your destiny if the same things that pleased you when you were 8 or 10 still please you then there is probably a need to introspect you see life is a journey it's an opportunity one has to keep moving towards betterment towards depth towards freedom from one's physical tendencies right in our culture and uh, also across the world there is a great tendency to romanticize childhood we keep saying oh when we were kids then things were so simple oh when we were kids then there was so much freedom we were kids then life was not complicated and we used to laugh and sing and play and there were no divisions and there were no responsibilities we keep saying those things and we keep yearning for the past right now there is a problem here you are no more the kid therefore you just cannot find pleasure in the same old things but by that i do not mean that you must not have pleasure now you must have higher pleasures those higher pleasures i am calling as joy hmm? pleasures you must have but please do not look for pleasures in the same old things there is no need to be loyal to your childhood self it's gone the self is continuously changing the freedom that you experienced in childhood was no freedom at all to call childhood as innocent is to conflate innocence with ignorance there is no innocence really in childhood there is just the bliss of ignorance right had there really been innocence or uh, simplicity in childhood then childhood wouldn't have so easily corrupted or degraded into the kind of adulthood that we see all around you see pure things do not degrade easily then how is it possible that we call all kids as 
innocent and the innocence is very easily and universally lost because there was no innocence in the first place right there was just uh, prakritic biological conditioning amounting to a certain ignorance and that appears cute to adults there appears cute to adults and adults say oh this is innocence because the adults themselves do not know what real innocence means so real innocence has to be achieved as an adult that's the very target of life real simplicity or real freedom is not a thing that a child will ever have to be free is to be a krishna or a buddh and they were not kids now if you want to really have freedom then go to the gita do not try to go back to your childhood if you now want to have a carefree life then go to vedant do not look back over your shoulder to your uh, memories the real thing was never there in the past so if you are searching for the real thing in the past you are searching obviously at the wrong place you will not get it there the child can be happy because uh, the child has no responsibilities the adult has to find the right responsibility to be happy that's the difference right now the adult decides to be the kid once again and sheds his responsibilities makes no sense makes no sense hmm? so live true to your adulthood your problem is not that you are no more a child the problem is that you are still not an adult so be fully grown up that's where now you will find joy and uh, let let kidish things be for kids we all are given this gift from the mother that births us hmm? mother prakriti first 4 5 3 10 years of your life you will have the happiness of lack of knowledge hmm? the typical bliss of ignorance that is there that is that is not to be sought ever again life is a journey towards liberation not towards childhood hmm? so that's my little advice thank you sir sir uh, uh, one one clarification from uh, this uh, this question only yes please why we uh, whether we dream of our past and we cherish our past since we do not have enough things to think in present or in future uh, so there is a vacuum and we go back to the, our past glories and past achievements and past joy or past yeah. pleasure is it so obviously you see the present is capable of offering you very valuable hmm? very pristine and very precious rather rather expensive joy joy always uh, comes at a cost and the present has the potential to offer all of this but if we are not willing to pay the price then we look for uh, a, a cheaper substitute and that is available in the past so we keep hankering for the past hmm? whatsoever was there in the past something higher than that is available right now hmm? if you are continuously uh, desirous of the past and longing and uh, reminiscing what it means is that probably you are not doing justice to the present otherwise how will you even get the time the mental space to be nostalgic hmm? 